Let's start our lesson. And our today's topic is have something done. Look at the example. The roof of Ahmad's house was damaged in a store. So, he arranged for a workman to repair it. Yesterday, the workman came and did the job. So now, Ahmad had the roof repaired yesterday. This means Ahmad didn't repair the roof himself. He arranged for someone else to do it for him. If he did it himself, you would say Ahmad repaired the roof. So let's compare these two sentences. Ahmad repaired the roof, which means he did it by himself. Ahmad had the roof repaired. So he arranged for someone else to do it, which means he didn't do the job himself. So the rule counts. To say that we arrange for someone else to do something for us, we use the structure have something done. The word order is really important. Subject, have, object, and past participle, which is verb 3. Here are more examples for this structure. Where did you have your hair done? I want to have my photograph taken. How often do you have your car serviced? In informal English, you can use get something done instead of have something done. For example, where did you get your hair done? So, when you're talking with your friends and if your friend says, where did you get your hair done? That is normal. But when you're using formal English, you cannot say get something done. Note, have something done sometimes has a different meaning. He had all his money stolen while he was on holiday. This doesn't mean that he arranged for somebody to steal his money. It means all his money was stolen. With this meaning, we use have something done to say that something happened to somebody. Often something not nice. For example, Firuz had his nose broken in a fight, which means his nose was broken. So, dears, that's all for today. 